हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई मेड मी थिंक वीडियो सीरीज ट्यूटोरियल फॉर रेस्ट ए टेस्टिंग एंड ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग जावा प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ओपन सोर्स टूल्स सो वी वेर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रेस्ट ए टेस्टिंग यूजिंग जावा प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वी वेर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट जे बॉस और रेस्ट इजी क्लाइंट्स विच इज दिस सो लेट सी सम मेवन डिपेंडेंसी सिंपल गेट एंड पुट गेट एंड पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड रिलेटेड स्टफ सो दिस इज द कोड Uh, this is also available in GitHub, and we are looking for these libraries. Rest. Uh, yeah, these JBoss Rest libraries. So uh, these are the Maven dependencies. So let us see the. It's a Maven project, so it is a bomb file here. Bomb file is here. So uh, we there is a dependency on org JBoss Rest Easy Rest Easy client. Uh, this is the one which we will be using. once uh, maven dependencies are downloaded we we should see all this uh, maven things should be downloaded this is the code now let us see the code let us see a sample get and put uh, get and post request so i have implemented a separate method for get and post or whatever individual methods required for testing all the scenarios for now let us see the get request and post request so get request first so we what we are doing is we are doing a Uh, getting a URL. For now, just consider we have one URL, and so this is basically the get request. The get request here. This is the, the this will be the URL which we I'll be pass passing as a parameter, and I need to create a REST easy web target. So I need to set up a connection. So what is the setup connection? Basically, I am setting headers here. So content type will be this. Um, Accept type will be this and application JSON. Okay, so uh, then uh, after doing a setup, then actually uh, get. call the request so we are calling a get method so target dot request dot get method so as it is a get request i am calling get request as a good coding practice i have done a try catch here so uh, if i do a try catch uh, that means uh, i am just catching uh, any exception if the application is running properly or any other unknown exception so they, uh, if there is an exception we will have to just return just for safety of the next code next code is the Uh, response handling so if you see if we see the ppt this is the sequence of uh, handling the responses so first thing is we need to handle 400 client side error then 500 server side error then success or redirection so uh, uh, just read the entity uh, response in string then check the uh, status code and content type or media type so if the media type in response from the web service is not json then we will have to we we'll have to stop that is because uh, we are expecting it in a json format so this is uh, this content type handling then handle the uh, client side error basically all 400 series then handle server side error 500 series then success series so 200 so if you see the the first request i am uh, this is this will be the request i will be hitting sign up get if it succeeds then i'll be getting 200 and i'll have to pass this all uh, json format so that is what i am passing it here so if it is success 200 then i am passing it in a json object and passing the relevant thing as per the specification now coming to the post request post request uh, there is a little difference so if you see i am doing a sign up post request here sign up post so for this uh, form parameters are required sign up email id password first name last name so that is what i have done is i am uh, taking it in a hash map and i am uh, consolidating it and i am putting that uh, just i am making uh, uh, this is a mechanism so that i can uh, make it as a string buffer string builder and i am calling up uh, i am first i am doing a post connection setup what is post connection setup so if you see the application uh, content type should be uh, this one uh, url encoded that is what as per the specification so all form param should be of type application slash uh, x hyphen triple w hyphen form dot url encoded so this will be the format 
so I'm, I have done a connection setup for post post request I am doing a connection setup here and then I am calling the post method so target dot request dot post and I am posting this uh, this data this basically whatever I have captured from uh, the form this this all form and I am uh, putting it as a URL encoded format uh, as a good coding practice uh, I am doing a try catch here to catch any exception uh, and I am handling the response so response handling is is similar to the get one so I will check the content type first then the cl uh, uh, client side error handling the server side error handling and 201 is something which I so sign up get sign up sign up uh, post request if it succeeds then I will get a 200 so 200 means I'll get, I will have to pass this this uh, responses So that is what I am passing uh, the JSON object here. I am passing some parameters. So everything I have uh, uh, considered as a JSON object, so the which is at the bottom of this uh, code. Please have a look on it. So we discussed the memory dependency, get request, uh, simple post request, header settings, uh, raising HTTP request parameter pass, uh, passing uh, query parameter form parameter response handling in the next video we will see in detail uh, about all these six scenarios implementation and actual testing so if you have any questions any doubt uh, please put it in the comment section i will try to answer most of them uh, please like and uh, share the videos uh, video series among your friends thanks for watching